Hi, my name is Jenna, and this is my video response to um, the video that we watched for class, um, a remixer's manifesto, um, like R.I.P. remix. Um, I guess first I'll start off with the four um, things that he put in his manifesto. Um, number one is culture always builds on the past. Um, the past always tries to control the future. Our future is becoming less free. And to build free societies, you need to limit the control of the past. And these four things basically um, based the whole um, documentary on um, <clears throat> had to do with mashups um, and how you cut and rearrange um, someone else's work uh, to create your own work. Um, and this created a war over ideas, um, and the battleground is the internet, and they talked about a lot of different things on the internet. Um, um, one of the big topics was Girl Talk, which is a, a guy that um, makes new music from old songs. One of his songs um, was 21 different songs mashed up into one song, um, and the, they broke this down um, the copyright infringement and everything that he would have had to pay would have been around four million dollars for remixing those 21 songs um, which I think is ridiculous um, so um, they also touched on Napster and um, Bush remixes um, and I myself when I I remember I was must have been like, pretty young but I remember using Napster myself. Um, I had downloaded songs, and then um, when everything started happening about saying that it's illegal and all the copyright, um, you know, problems. I remember my mom telling me, "Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna get arrested. You're gonna have all these problems. You're, we're gonna get sued." Um, but obviously, nothing came of it for me. But they did show many people who um, were sued for, you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and for downloading 20 songs so I mean to me that's just ridiculous that you can be penalized so severely for something you just did sitting at your computer um, and, and it seemed as though everyone was doing it so for you to be caught it didn't seem like a possibility but they showed the average person getting, you know, sued by these major, major companies, um, but uh, something that made me kind of upset is that when these companies sue um, the people that had downloaded the music, that the money does not go back to the artists that they're, you know, ripping their music off, um, but the money that they get from these lawsuits does not go back to the artist, which which is why they're in court in the first place, which doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Um, uh, the first, they mentioned Radiohead, which was one of the first bands that put out their music for free. And I think that's a great, you know, movement to start that, um, you know, other artists... I think established artists, if they, you know, are artists that already people already know their name, they already are making millions of dollars, you know, they should put their stuff out there for free, which will in turn get them more, um, you know, fans, because they have free use of their music and things like that. Um, I think that will just make them bigger and bigger um, once a band already has themselves established. Yeah, and then they talked about ideas, how today ideas are more more valuable than land, than oil, than property, than anything, that your ideas, people are more concerned with your ideas than anything else that you could possibly have, um, and if you steal someone else's ideas, it's obviously a big problem, um, and they talked about from country to country, the laws that were created and everything. Um, and then finally, towards the end, they talked about the Creative Commons, how that has been created to uh, set culture free, um, you know, for things that, like, we're doing in this class, um, where we use Creative Commons licensing. 
um, which I think is a great movement and hopefully in the future it will continue to grow um, so more people can use the work and make their own work from that. So um, in all, I you know enjoyed this video um, and I think the guy who made it really had some good ideas about um, you know the future and what copyright should actually be intended to be. So that's all.